About a year ago, I uh, produced a video on my, what I call it, my discount or low price um, listening room that uh, most of the products were from, uh, picked up either free as gifts or uh, thrift stores. Well, I've upgraded a little bit, so I thought I'd redo the video. So, the recent purchase. I actually got this at a uh, um, estate sale. It's a Macintosh uh, C28 preamp. I really like this because it has two um, phono preamps. So uh, I'm using both of those. So that preamp is driving either my old uh, con organ based tube amplifier, which I still listen to, or back there. Also, as part of the estate sale purchase, was a Hafler uh, DH220 um, solid state uh, power amp. Uh, turntables. It's a recent purchase from a friend of mine. It's a Thorin's TD125 with a Rabco tangential tone arm. He had gotten out of vinyl, so uh, I had no use for this. So. I gave him a, a reasonable price, I thought, and he thought, so we made that exchange. And for my second turntable, I have a AR uh, Acoustic Research ARXA turntable from the early 60s. Um, both these have vintage cartridges on them. Uh, that one has a brand new stylus. I think that's the Shure M91E, the new stylus. And this has the Shure V15 Series 2, which I still need to buy a new stylus for, but that one's in fairly decent shape. Uh, I have upgraded my CD too. Got a Denon. Uh, what's a five disc changer? advantage to this one over my old one is that uh, this one will let you exchange disc while still playing another one. I still have the TIAC um, A4010S open reel. don't use it too much except for uh, um, taking uh, old open reels and uh, making mp3s out of them. But I still will record something on it every once in a while and listen to it. Still sounds great. Here's my uh, 1978 uh, purchase from some of my original uh, stereo equipment. It's my Akai uh, CS707D cassette. And then I have added a VHS, Hi-Fi VHS um, machine that you can use to record uh, very high quality uh, hi-fi stereo sound. I mean it sounds as good as this open reel when you uh, record to it. So that's everything there. And I, still, I actually upgraded my listening chair too. Used to have just an old chair from upstairs. My wife, lovely wife, was kind enough to make me a, or buy me a, a recliner for down here. So that's my listening chair. And I got some new speakers down here. Got some Altec Lansing. These are 605A uh, duplex speaker uh, cabinets. I haven't figured out where these cabinets came from. I think they're either from a recording studio or from a theater. They're huge old things. They weigh 140 pounds a piece. They're really tough getting them down here into the basement. But they sound pretty much uh, amazing to me, I think. And it lets you actually, uh, not only can you hear this, the music, but you can feel it in your chest with, under moderate listening levels, which is kind of amazing. And those are from 1959 is when they released the 605A. And uh, I've got my old original three ways that I bought in 78 along with the rest of my stereo system. That's, those are DWD. This is a small California speaker manufacturer. Still pretty good down here. 
and I still have the uh, Paradigm um, 7, SE7s, I think they are, or SE9s um, from 1990. They still sound pretty good too, but actually I've been listening to the Altex lately because um, I just love the sound of those. So that's it. And then of course I still have my regular electronics workbench sitting here right next to the listening room stuff. So that's an update to my, um, I'll call it a little bit more upgraded of a listening room. I did have to pay some real money for uh, the turntable and uh, the preamp and those speakers and stuff, but still pretty cheap. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get some really good sounding stuff if you just shop around. So good luck shopping around, and thanks for watching the video.